Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 18 tutorial. This time I'm concentrating on defending score part 3. It's been a while since I've done a defending tutorial. This one I'm going to be concentrating on sliding tackles. But don't um, think, oh is that it? This is an incredible, I should have renamed it really. How to stop the most effective, how to stop 90% of goals really. Because um, I'm going to be teaching you in this how to stop low driven shots. The most insanely overpowered um, sh shooting technique in the game. You know it's probably costs you about 90% of your goals, it's, it's, you know, it's your nemesis, it's my nemesis, it's everybody's nemesis and um, I'm going to be showing you how to stop that today. I do show you a couple of clips with sliding tackles with tackling but it's more I'm going to be showing you the blocks like here in this example we can show it straight away. Sliding in a way to get the block. I'm going to be breaking this down, this is going to be your biggest weapon. So how to use, you know what I'm like, I like to get straight into it, no messing about. Um, first minute of the, of, of the tutorial. So, a lot of the clips of Koscielny, I think he's insanely overpowered myself. It's like the Koscielny of old, not, certainly not the Koscielny of this season. He's having a poor one, isn't he? But the Koscielny back in the day, um, he's really good this year. Look at him there. I think that might have been him. Um, a lot of the clips are Koscielny. So, I, I play Koscielny at the back with, with David Luiz normally. Um, and it's this example that I'm going to be breaking down. You probably thought, well, why did you do a noob move there, uh, Steve? A, a real noob move, like going backwards. I'll tell you why. So, I'm Koscielny here highlighted and what I was afraid of is that he would that player in support circled he would pass to him so he could pass it here it he, maybe even he could cut inside you know so that's why I jockeyed backwards but then that's to cover that and he didn't do that you see here there's me jockeying backwards that's why I did that in case he passes to that man in support I'm not going to rely on the AI the AI is terrible I've got to do everything myself that's why I jockeyed backwards um, or if he cut inside at this point I know at this point I know he's not cutting inside I've got to make up ground. I've got, to, I've got, to, you know, you know, sort things out here and, and get back into position. And at this point here, we know what he's going to do. He's going to do the low driven shot into the bottom left corner where X marks the spot. We all know what he's going to do, and I know he's going to do that. But I need to get into my own X marks the spot, and it's there, guys. And do you remember the passing lane? Well, this is the shooting lane. You need to get in the way of that with Kashani, and you need to slide at the point where that crosses that X. And I slide and I block and I save a goal. I mean, he might have scored, he might not have, but we will never know. But for sure, I stopped him from shooting at my goal and uh, attacking my goal, you know. There, that's a, just a, a standard tackle with David Luiz. As I said, I'm going to be covering the blocks more in this and how to stop the deadliest shooting technique in the game. As I said, it costs you probably 90 play, uh, FIFA players about 90% of their goals. There's a double up Berber spin, remember that from the previous tutorial. I, I come in there and I stop him crossing, stop him crosses, stop him low driven shots, stop him, you know. And you want to do them when you're 90% sure they're going to do it. Like here, Jesus, he's got no other option but to shoot. We know what he's doing. He's putting it in the bottom left corner with a low driven shot. And because Shelney, I've got to come up and I've got to stop him. He's not going to do anything other than take shot on. And watch, look, I, I slow this down. He puts his foot back, Jesus. He was about to shoot. I was right and I made the right decision. When you're 90% sure that he's got no other option, he has to shoot. It'd be insane not to shoot. That's when you slide, guys. If you're wondering, when do I slide? That's when you slide. And I'm going to give you more examples of this. Like, here, he's got, he's got to shoot, isn't he? He's, he's, he's a couple yards out from the goal. Why, who wouldn't shoot then? I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. If they do a fake shot or a quiff turn or something like that, they do me. But I'm prepared to take this risk. Like, here, with Koscielny. If he does a quiff turn, turns back, he does me because I'm committed to the slide tackle. But... At this point, everyone shoots. Look at this. This is a typical example. Roman Alessandrini in form. You know he's going for the bottom right corner with the low driven shot. So with Koscielny, I slide. I take a chance. You've got to take a chance. Because 95% of FIFA players will take that shot on. I'm telling you. Here, again, this is a great example. He does me with a Cruyff turn right. And I, I'm going to break this down about player switching. Um, I covered that in the, in the first tutorial, didn't I? The defending score part one. Well, here... Um, with De Bruyne, he does a beautiful Cruyff turn, absolutely dummy now. And I've now got to, I'm John Stones, I just zoomed that in, I'm John Stones at the minute. And you know what De Bruyne is going to do, he's going to pass it up to that player, and you don't need any arrows after this, you know what he's going to do, he's going to put it in the back of the net. So I need to switch my icon from John Stones to Lauren Koscielny. And uh, then come up, and then I know he's going to take a shot on instantly, I need, to, I need to take the risk. You might think penalty, isn't it? Bang. You can't take the risk. You, 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 when you're 90% sure they're going to shoot, then that's when you slide, guys. Um, I know you'll be scared about red cards and stuff, but trust me, I, I hardly ever get red cards or penalties away because you know when they're going to shoot, you just know they're going to shoot. There you see he, he took the shot on because they'll be insane not to. That's when you do the sliding tackle. Here, 
just just waiting, marking that player at the same time, marking in the middle with double loose. Then I come in, slide tackle, I put my body on the line, and, and another player as well. Just getting players in the way to block. If you get them in the shooting lane, they will block. And finally, the last example with Harry Kane here, getting back defending for one of these glitchy free kicks, bang, sliding. I'm not going to just rely on the keeper to save it. I'll put him in, in the area for that, that low driven shot at the bottom. Uh, left hand corner and uh, and I block it so this is a technique you want to use guys you want to just keep you know sliding tackling when you at a point when you think they're going to shoot and you'll know it you'll, you'll just feel it you'll know when they're going to do it so guys that is it you've been asking for defending tutorial and there, there is another one I'm going to have more for you as well but um, I knew I know the, the crossing tutorial I said was next but I thought I'd do a defending one which you've been asking for that for a few weeks now but the crossing one should be next I've got a reverse step over that's another skill move I've never done before I've got that ready and uh, some more icon SBCs so guys thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next tutorial